You got it. You got us believe. <laughs> Wonderful. Stop it. Wonderful. Good morning, you guys, and welcome to the channel. It is currently Sunday. It is Easter, so happy Easter to you, your family, your friends. Hope you're having a fan. Fantastic day with all of you, you know, just celebrating the day. It is currently about one o'clock in the afternoon, and I was up at five o'clock this morning to be at the sunrise service by like 6:45, and then we had to sing a bunch of songs, and I had literally no air. I was gonna pass out, but now we're back home. We got back to the house. We had a bunch of plans for today, like going to the beach and stuff, and we just kind of passed out. So that's been our day so far, but if you watch this video, your boy got engaged. I literally still feel like I'm like floating. It's like the most amazing feeling ever to the most amazing girl ever. So it just feels really cool. So today the plan is, before we leave, I have to test the cluster out for Mr. James. He wants to buy one of my, uh, my kilometers cluster. I need to make sure it works for him. And they're off to St. Augustine to do dinner with her family. And I'm not quite sure what else we'll film for today, but that's the basic plan for right now. Miley got a bath yesterday, so she is nice and clean again, finally. And... So the Cooper lip actually looking really, really good. I might put some more work in, not today, but later on this week, and actually get the, these corners molded better. But like for the most part, the lip flows nice and looks pretty good. For being a lip that's not made for these cars, it works pretty well. So if you guys do not know, the first link in the description below, I believe it is, is my uh, my website, my DubHQ uh, Big Cartel. A lot of these parts that I have extra parts, I list on there to sell to you guys. Um, I just sold two sets of GLX taillights, so both of those are gone. I have amber reds left if I add this week. Um, I have gauge cluster, which this one's probably going to James. There's a lot of pieces on here, super simple to use. Click the link, see what you want. If you want to, you pay by me the money, and I send it right to you. It's really easy and straightforward. There's a lot of things here. Ask things, sell. I'll add new things and this, this, and that. And eventually, I might make my own products. I don't quite know yet, but that's just kind of it. So I'm looking around. There's a lot of stuff here. So as things sell, I'll add more and more and more and you guys see it grab it so like down here I have mark two seatbelt uh, brackets right there I have cloth headrest black cloth headrest I have a bunch of different badges and emblems still here this is a vento lip the shallow vento lip there's an American NA lip there's beetle headrest here I think this is a full set maybe there's, I think there's a full set there there's some old school fender flares there's another set of headrests here there's lips I have two of these uh, mark 3.5 door handles I have like dummies, there's lights, there's tail lights, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Um, if you see something on here that you want, comment below. If it's not on the website, it might not be for sale yet, it might come up later on. But there's a good amount of stuff. This girl's not for sale, that's mine. But I have some extra girls back there, I think there's roof racks over there. Lip, I have an OEM steam, a Mark III steering wheel in here. Leather headrest, there's a ton, there's a ton of stuff. So it'll get added to the website as it goes. And then if you see something else, just ask me about it. There's mud flaps here, there's a Mark IV, uh, 24 valve rear stick, ending cover, there's just a lot of stuff. So either on the website already, or ask about it. The worst I can say is no, but I'll let you guys know. So let's go ahead and grab this one out of here, plug it into my car, and see, see if she works. I was just on the phone in here, but this glare is really annoying, so I'm pulling the car out real quick. We have better lighting stations and see how to do all this nonsense. Woo, she lives another day, boys. Let's go. I think people laugh at me and think it's funny that I always say, I'm excited my car actually started today because like with these 90s cars, these Mark 3s, these Volkswagens, you honestly never know. Cause I've had days, you guys have seen, I've had days, my car's just like, you know what? I'm not feeling it today. And then it's like fine for a month. It's like, you know what? Today, I'm not feeling it again. So when my car turns on, I'm proud of little Miley right here when she turns on. And then some days she's just like, you know what? Mm, this is not your day. I'm not gonna run today. So I think, I don't know. I don't know if you guys laugh at that or not, but I always, I'm appreciative when my car starts. Much, much better life. So if you've never pulled out a gauge cluster before, very simple to do. We're gonna start by pulling up this one and this one and and also this one sorry and you don't have this this is my fancy switch back when i had halos and i was yeah back in my earlier days i haven't taken it out yet but i still have the switch yeah we don't take that out of there and also before you start any project like this mess with any of this stuff or any pieces on your mark three at all remember this plastic is like 20 years old be gentle be very very gentle because sometimes it'll just explode and you're like well that's awesome so gently take it apart get a nice little flat head get a little interior piece prior things be gentle once these pieces are out you're left with this you have a screw right there and a screw right there take those two out and that'll get you your little plastic bezel piece here off i want to say every time i look at my phone somebody else is saying congratulations so thank you guys so much and honestly it means the world you guys are supporting like i mean even if you guys didn't i would still love her to death but it's very awesome that everyone's being so supportive and saying congratulations so it means a lot so thank you guys also make this job easier have one of these little magnets to help get these out because if you drop one of these down that hole into your dash literally it's game over you're pulling the whole dash out and you don't want to do it so magnets always make things much much easier gauge cluster bezel is now out last part you have a screw right there and right there take those both out and then it tilts down where it's on the bottom right there it'll tilt forward there's two connections in the back unplug those and you pull it on out so before i take it all the way out i usually 
Oh, oh, hello, hello. Sorry, I'm vlogging. Anyways, before I pull the gauge all the way out, I want to get it forward to get the connectors off. I usually turn it to the this way to the right a little bit, and it usually slides right out. Voila! Kilometers cluster is in. We got 59,629 kilometers, and always goes in new when you plug your first back in. Let's make sure to start the car. Make sure it uh, works farther than this. Let's see, I see lights. Uh, gas is working, looks like. We got no RPMs, I don't see. No RPM at the current moment. I got it was that, that tire light. It's a tire light. I have no RPMs though. Interesting. So in terms of uh, mileage or kilometers and time, and the gas gauge and this gauge, those don't work. I have no RPMs. I don't know if the mile an hour works. I haven't tried driving the car. I'm gonna pull this one out and try by the kilometers one. All right, this one also turns on. We got time, and this one has a lot more kilometers, 275,000 on this one. But let's see if this one has some RPMs. Let's see what we got. All right, there we go. That's better. So this one looks to be in working order. Holy crap, just dropped my screw. Literally, literally on the edge of death. Careful, careful. Close one. And just like that, we are all reassembled, like nothing ever happened. All right, James, so this one, the black face kilometers one does work. The surface one here, for whatever reason, the RPMs don't work. It might be fixable, but probably not. I know these clusters are usually like they go bad. It's just they're just shot you in a new one. So this one does work. Um, might be able to fix this one, don't quite know, but I'll be sending you that one. Gotta put Miley back in the garage and we have to get on the road to San Augustine. Asking you guys to ask us questions while we got to St. Augustine. That's something to do on this drive. So we have what, like eight or nine, I think, in there right now. Yep. So Casey's gonna read them off. I'm obviously I'm driving. So Casey, read them off. We'll both answer, give our opinions on whatever the question may be, and then we'll just go from there. All right. First question: What are your thoughts on old V-dubs like Mark Ones and Mark Twos? I absolutely love. I had before the channel started. I had a 1980 and later a 1981. We both had uh, diesel Mark One Rabbits. We absolutely love them. Should have kept it. Uh, I wanted to Should've keep kept it, but it. didn't have enough room in the back of the house, and they weren't running. And I already had Molly to work on, so it didn't work out. But eventually, when we go, well, that's later on. But when we go to Germany, well, that's later on. But I do want another Mark One. I want a Caddy it'll truck. It'll be my build. It'll be my build, though. You can have one. I also want one. No, like it'll. No, oh, like they oh, will be mine. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna have a Caddy truck eventually. <laughs> All right, second question, does pineapple go on pizza? No, absolutely. Warm fruit with marinara sauce and cheese and bread is disgusting. Yeah, and I like pineapple separate, but <laughs> it's warm on the pizza and it just doesn't taste and good. the juice is like cold yeah, warm. Yeah, pineapple is good no. when it's like nice and cold, but like on pizza, like all hot, warm, and like soggy, nah, it's not, it's a no-go. Third question, what car was the one that got you into Volkswagens? Got me into Volkswagens? Uh, Jesse's Mark III from the Fast and Furious, hands down. The Mark 6 GTI is like obviously the best thing ever. My parents got me a TDI and I was secretly upset for like two years. All right, number four. How long you in St. Aug? Would love to shoot. <laughs> so I'm racing for Devin. Um, I'm only, we're only gonna be there for uh, like four hours or so. Yeah. Who's that from? A S D K F J L D S K. Oh, fancy. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'll, we're in the Mark 5. Uh, I didn't bring Miley and I'll be here for like the day. So maybe another time I'll hop there again. Just joy listening thing I see as well. So we'll have to find that issue. That'd be cool. Alright, question number five. Will you ever switch to JDM? Yo, honestly, <laughs> if I have I I love JDM cars. Supras, Skylines, RX sevens, all of that those cars, Evos, super I love I love JDM cars, but I don't have the money for JDM cars yet. But like our like right hand drive like the the Tegis, the Type R, like original like Japanese, like the Tegras, the Civics, like all those cars. I have such a love. See, I, <laughs> I have such a love for JM cars. If I had the money, I would import uh, an R33 Shine right now. I want a Supra. I, I will have my cars. I want a 240. Uh, I like. I like yeah, cars. I would totally get like a Supra or an R32, but Euros are like Volkswagen, BMW, yeah. Mercedes. I have a love for all cars. I both trucks are more towards my top, but I do have a, a very, very much love Should and I tell them about, like, the for JDM cars. What? My Volkswagen thing. Which one? Like, 
Oh, go ahead. So I actually have Volkswagen tattooed on my body because it's so amazing. So I would never go to <laughs> Question number six, how much did changing our cars to leather run you, like in clothes? Oh, so my Mark II GTI Recaros came in the blue blur color. I'd have them redone in the leather and the stitching done. It was a, around like 825 I think, for the front two. People are like, when I told people the price, they're like, why would you spend that much money? Because one, that guy's done tons of, all the Mark III squad basically took their cars to him and he's done them. And he does literally amazing work at the hand stitch and it's just awesome quality. And you gotta understand, a Porsche is expensive and like building these old cars, it's expensive. Like if you wanna build, I told you before, if you wanna build, like I'm gonna say my car's top tier, but if you wanna build a top tier show you're car, you're, you're gonna spend, it. you're gonna spend money. You just get ready to spend all your money. But yes, my seats for the front two cost about 825 for the pair. And that included um, the stitching for the Recaro. Um, the most of them they do it separately, but yeah, that's the price. Okay, question number seven. What brought on your passion for the Jetta Mark III? Well, like I said before, Jesse's Mark III, the Fast and Furious. I don't know what it was. I love Brian's Super, the Eclipse, the Arcs. All the cars in that movie were amazing, but something about Jesse's Mark III, and yes, it had rear brakes. They were a stupid cover. I don't want to hear none of that nonsense. Yes, I know it was a 2.0 and automatic. It had fake Brembo's and blah, 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 whatever. I don't care. The car itself, I love the car itself, and it was just, I don't know, like iconic in my, I guess, my time growing up. And it was so cool to have a car from the Fast and the Furious. And when I first got my car, I originally wanted to paint it and did a whole entire paint scheme. I still might one day, we'll see. But I absolutely love Jesse's car. And then, aside from that, like owning my own, you, whatever car you own, you gotta get a love towards that car. And then, more so even than that, just the community around the Mark III and the Volkswagen itself, like all my friends, Omar, Greg, Danny, Larry, Everyone who has that Mark III, like we're such good friends. And, like I don't know, like I said, most of like the car scene is yes, the cars are cool, but the family you have around it makes it like that's what makes the car scene. So I love Mark Threes, and I have even more since I got one. And then just the family around it makes it just that much better. All right, final question. Oh no, oh no. What'd you do? All right, final question. Larry's father has five sons named 10, 20, 30, 40. What's the name of his fifth son? Wait, we time? Larry's father has five sons. You're, you're analyzing it too much. But no. He's got five sons. 10, 10 20, 20, 30, 40. 40. What's, what's, what's the last one's name? Yeah. Larry? Yes. Probably. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I'm good at those riddle things. I like them. Oh, I'd hope so. Okay, scratch that. One more question. Are you ever going to get the Mark IV back? Yes, I've talked to Christian a billion times. We just get a trailer, get a truck, and just drive back to Texas. Hopefully it's still at the impound lot, and we can just pick it up and then work on it and build it, like on our way back to Florida. That's like my dream goal right now. We'll do a little bit of background. What she's talking about, she bought a Mark IV, um, Pro 4 Valve VR6, back in Texas. Loads of problems, long story short. Ended up at an impound lot, it's at a oh cracked oil pan. Uh, one of the wheels is missing, but literally started right up, no problem, in the vlog a while back, we're out in Texas, but eventually, yes, we will go get that car back, if it's still there, we can find it, uh, we do want to get it back, so that'll do it, this Han is in my way, hold on, I get it, I get angry, people just, <sighs> fine, I'm fine, I'm, sorry, I'm fine, whatever, alright, our exit's coming up, so that'll do it for this Q&A, if you want to participate in the next one, make sure you follow me on Instagram right here, that way we can hopefully get to your question. We got through, I think, 10 this time or so. I'm sure there'll be more later on. Nine. What am I on right now? Ah, road's broken. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're inside how you see <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs> Quick pit stop to get fuel before I head back home for a St. Cloud. I didn't film literally at all at Casey's house, um, but I wanted to be special. Our family was there, our friends were there, so that was a lot of fun just to chill. Everyone just have a really good time and not mess with the camera, but long drive home. I have two more questions I got asked in the picture. I'm gonna answer when I get home, I think. Uh, but right now I'm tired, it's 9.30, I got two and a half hour drive home. Gotta be up at six tomorrow morning for work. It's gonna be a long night. I'm gonna be really exhausted tomorrow, but well, well worth it. Is it just me, or do I always get the handles that don't have the hook? Look at this, every time I get a pump, there's never a hook, never. I always get the broken ones, unbelievable. Holy crap. Two and a half or so hours later, it's currently three minutes before midnight. I am absolutely exhausted. This has been the most incredible slash insane, just amazing weekend of like in my entire life. Ugh, I don't want to go to work tomorrow, but like it's just been so amazing. I've gotten zero sleep. I went up at like five and six a.m. the past two, three days, it's, it's a little bit, I, I'm on no sleep right now, how I'm still awake, I have no idea, but I promise you guys, these last few questions, I'm gonna knock these out real quick, and then we'll call it a night for now. So the first one right here, um, from Aramatishu, Aramatishu, so that, I don't know, what, um, what got you into the car community also, 
Hope you had an awesome Easter. So thank you, man. Um, welcome in card community. Um, I have always loved cards. My very first toy ever for my grandma was a Hot Wheels car, which basically started it all. I've literally always loved this card. There's cards right there. I have absolutely always loved cars. I love all the variations of cars. The, there's so many things you can do to them, the places they take you. To me, it's not just a vehicle. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a car, but like, it's so much more. Like all the friends you meet through it, all the places you get to go because of the vehicles, just the total experience. I just, I've, I've always loved cars. And once I got my first car, I like just went crazy into the car community. Even though when I first got my car, all I wanted to do was get new wheels, and like that was really it. And now it's full blown, almost show car. It's crazy how things change, but yes, um, got me into the car. I just love the car community because like there's so many of my greatest friends I've met in the car community. I've met my now fiance through the car community. It's just, it's just an amazing thing. If you surround yourself with the right people, the car community is an absolute amazing place. Uh, next question here is, are you planning on um, boosting the VR? Of course, it will take a lot of time, so maybe down the road. Um, that would be dope, but again, it's, it's just money. If I had all the money in the world, it would have been done way long time ago, but um, maybe uh, it'd be awesome to have a VR6 with crazy turbo sounds, but an all-motor VR6 also sounds absolutely amazing. Um, for right now, I'm just getting the, the all-motor VR6 into the car and get the swap done, and then we're about boosting it later on. So at uh, one point, I would like to. Next question here is from uh, Logan B 53 Hey, Christian, my question is, are you ever going to start your own merch? Um, I wouldn't mind supporting your channel other ways. Maybe a lanyard, key tag, something MK3 related. Just started following the channel recently, and it's given me a massive inspiration for my Mark III. So just wanted to say thank you. So awesome. Like, those kind of things right there, when people say that my car, what I'm doing, like, inspires them to work on their own car, that is just so awesome to me. Like, I don't feel like I'm better than anybody. I'm not famous. I'm not this really, like, I'm not this person who's way up here. I'm the same as everybody else. I just kind of have a platform to kind of help you guys and motivate you guys to work on your vehicles as well. And I know it's frustrating. Plus, I've been there. But it's, those kind of messages really, like, made me, I don't know, there's they're really nice messages. Um, Do I plan on making my own merchandise? I do. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what I actually want to do. Like, I love the Lord Lifestyle stuff and helping Matt out and doing all stuff. But yes, eventually I would like to branch off into my own thing. Um, working on designs right now, actually. So we'll see where that goes. Okay, the last and final question while I'm trying to stay awake here uh, is from Ian. Uh, what was the first moment you knew Casey was the one? And I read this question. I showed it to Casey when we were at her house. And she's like, oh, I know the answer to that one. And I've already told her this before. But literally the day I met her in person, I was like, yo, this girl hands down does one I just you just you just know like I said before I just knew this girl was the one like I don't know I'm not much of a relationship person until obviously right now um I never cared to date people I was kind of always off myself doing my own thing um but when you meet that one person like literally you're just like that's the person and it's she is the one. So, right now, now I'm I, I can say I have a fiance now. That's, that's such a cool word. I have I have a fiance. <laughs> that's that's just crazy. Oh, it's been a crazy weekend. I'm exhausted. Thank you guys so 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 much for watching these videos. Thank you so much for all uh, the congratulations we've got. I have people from like Croatia, Australia, Russia, Germany, like all these crazy comments on my YouTube videos, like. That's insane, people saying congratulations. So thank you guys so, so, so incredibly much. It means literally the world to me. I love all of you guys. Um, do not forget, be thankful for every single day. I will see you guys next weekend. Peace out.